Hey you guys, Sean with Go Gloves here, and in today's video, we're gonna be rating my favorite baseball gloves. So over my few years of reselling and collecting baseball gloves, I've had almost a hundred different gloves and with that there have been a ton of different brands and today I've made a tier list of my favorite gloves. So we're going to go through all of those and rate them with a superior or a A through D scale just like grading in school. So we're going to go through each one and I'll give each glove a grade and tell you guys why I feel that way about each glove. And you guys have may have seen these tier list videos from other YouTubers like Cody Ko and things like that. So I kind of drew inspiration from him even though he does some crazy food tier lists. I'm doing mine with basic baseball gloves and if you guys want to do this tier list yourself I will show a link down in the description so you guys can post yours and have some fun with it and if you guys do make a tier list make sure you post it on Instagram and tag me and I'll repost it give you guys a follow everything like that so without further ado let's hop into this tier list all right y'all so we have the uh, tier list up on the screen so you guys can see that now and I actually just remembered this video idea was given to me by one of you guys on Instagram, so um, shout out to you, whoever gave me that idea. I'll put a little picture of it right there. But anyways, um, I always need video ideas, and you guys are watching the video, so always like either DM me or comment on my YouTube channels um, to give me video ideas because I can't just like keep buying gloves or else I'll go broke and have no money. So um, then that would be the end of the channel. So uh, seriously, please DM me or uh, comment on my YouTube videos to give me some ideas. That would be super helpful. So anyways, with that being said, let's get into this tier list. So we have the tier list right here. We're on tiermaker.com. If you guys look up uh, Goaded Baseball Gloves tier list on this website, you guys will be able to find this and make your own tier list. So this should be super fun. It's something I've never done before. Um, so I'm looking forward to it. Now the first glove we have here is a 44. I've had two 44s before, one stock. And I just got my custom, I say just, probably a couple months now. Um, and I've made a few videos on that. So if you haven't seen it and you're looking for a 44, definitely go check out those videos. Um, they're super fun to make and everything like that. And it should give you a pretty good idea of what to expect if you're getting a 44. Now I've had a pretty clear opinion on 44 Pro for a very long time and it's basically the best glove that you'll get for the amount of money that you pay. However, if you want to pay more money, you can definitely get some better options on the market, but 44 is great quality and there's a ton of custom options. Overall, I really like the company. They're great customer service wise, everything like that. And they have some pretty cool um, TikToks and stuff like that. I know my friend Benny over there at 44 is running their social media. So props to him and uh, everyone at 44. So I think I'm gonna go be here a solid uh, 80 to 89 range if you're going on the school grading system here. Um, so 44 sits in, sits in that nice range. Again, it's a great glove if you want to start a collection, so shout out to 44. And I just remembered, I forgot to run down uh, all the grading scales right here. So at the top, we have G for goaded. I changed the superior to goaded. If you're unfamiliar with the term goaded, it's basically an adjective uh, that describes the acronym GOAT, stands for greatest of all time, aka the meaning behind my name, Goat Gloves. Um, and then after goaded, which is the highest level above A, then it just goes A, B, C, and D, like a regular grading scale. Pretty simple there. Um, so 44 is gonna sit right in the middle at uh, a B. And the next glove up is going to be an all-star catcher's mitt, the CM3000 Pro Elite. And I gotta say, the all-star mitts are probably the best catcher's mitt for um, that position because all-star does have some fielding mitts, but I'm just not a huge fan of them. I think they're pretty subpar compared to the catcher's mitts. But All-Star is uh, primarily known as a catcher's brand, so it makes a ton of sense that they would focus on the catcher's mitts more. But I have to say that I've seen so many catchers use them, especially in the pros, and they just last forever. So I'm gonna give this to Goaded. You know, the, the All-Star catcher's mitts um, are probably Goaded for all catcher's mitts, but you know, All-Star gloves in total aren't Goaded. Um, but for the catcher's mitts, I will say that they are goaded, so it's going to go uh, right at the top in the G rank. 
Now this glove here, the All Blonde, is from JL Glove Co. And this is a pretty new brand. I've seen them a little bit uh, popping up now on Instagram and stuff like that. And I have seen a ton of gloves like this uh, with the blonde colorway because they are pretty new company. Most companies start with that neutral pattern, just like a blonde or a tan and things like that. But now they just got a customizer. And honestly, from what I've seen, their quality is really cool. And I've seen some guys with their custom logos on there, which I think is really cool. And that's probably something I'll want to get on a JL in the future. So um, just because we don't know a whole lot about JL yet, just because I haven't gotten to try one, we're going to put them uh, right next to 44 at a B. Um, once I get a JL, which I'm pretty sure I will in the future, they're on my list to get next. I can't tell you guys exactly when, just because I don't know what... I'm even buying right now or if I'm buying a glove anytime soon but um I think B is a great spot for them uh, just for now now we're getting into the Maruchis and I didn't put a C mod on here I only put the Cypress and Capital series um, but if you have any questions about the C mod because it's a pretty crazy glove um, I do think they're very comfortable but uh, if you don't know what the C mod is uh, just look it up on their website it's it's gonna be too hard to explain I want to keep it focused on this video but right here in the maroon colorway we have the capital series and that's going to be their higher end series sort of like the equivalent of the pro preferred a2k if you're more familiar with those brands and i've i've broken in one of these for my friend and when i had it 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 felt really good actually the leather was stiff it took a while to break it in so if you guys like a, a thicker glove that kind of takes a little bit to break in it's very good for that but um i did have some notices of maybe comfort and um, some other things like that, that i think maruchi's addressing right now but for now i'm just basing it off of what they've released so far and in their first run of gloves i think for the capital series it is a higher quality glove so i'm also going to put it in the b spot along with 44 and jl that might change in the future if maruchi decides to do some more stuff with uh, comfort and style and everything like that. I know Eric Walbridge, Glove Cowboy, uh, the designer at Marucci has been posting a ton of stuff about their new run of gloves and they look pretty fire. So I'm definitely excited to see what Marucci has to come in the future. Now, right below uh, the Capital Series with Marucci, you have the Cypress Series. This glove I have tried before, and this did feel a little bit thinner, maybe a lesser quality, which you would expect at a lower price point. However, um, I just think the step up from the Capital Series is a huge jump. I will have to put this Cypress Series in the C spot. I think when you have some new additions to Marucci, um, I'm definitely looking forward to those. Maybe that'll step it up again, just like the Capital Series, but for now, uh, I'm definitely gonna put it in that C spot and this next glove is one that I've been looking forward to trying for a long time And I haven't so far but everything I've heard from this glove, which is the Mizuno Pro Limited now Everything I have heard from this glove Shouts goaded basically. Um, I mean people have said there's nothing that compares to it the craftsmanship the leather everything about it is insane so I think I'm gonna have to go go to with this one. Um, I haven't heard really any bad thing about this glove. Definitely one that I want to try in the future. They're just crazy expensive. So you guys have to realize with the elevation and quality, you're also gonna have a rise in price. So that's why a lot of these go to gloves are gonna be $400, $500. Not every glove is gonna be the same, of course. So just know that when I'm grading these, even though 44 makes great gloves, they're just not gonna be as high quality as a glove that's $500. I mean, you just can't compete like that. So with that being said, the Mizuno Pro Limited is going to be goaded. And now the next glove is also one that I'm super looking forward to, and that's going to be the Nike Shadow Elite J, another glove that I wanna get in my collection very soon. Again, I've heard a ton of stuff about this glove. They're pretty rare now, actually discontinued from Nike, besides for their pro players. And these gloves have some unique features on them that definitely make them stand out from the typical like Wilson and Rawlings gloves. So they're definitely uh, highly sought after in the community. Again, I'm gonna have to put this one in goaded. The quality on there is insane. I just think they're classic, great looking glove with some unique, definitely Japanese inspired features. So goaded is going to be the move for the Nike Shadow Elite J. And this next glove is something that I'm uh, actually very looking forward to in the future because Nakona is a company that I used to not like very much at all, but they've done some rebranding in the last few years. So I'm happy to say that with this new style Nakona that 
I'm actually a pretty big fan of it. You have all blonde here and again, the leather on the Konas just used to be so soft. It used to be wrinkled. The form used to be so off and it was very floppy straight out of the manufacturer or at the retail store that you buy it at. But these new Nakonas, man, I'm super excited to try one out. They have a new customizer on their website that I've also seen. The only drawback on Nakonas is they are made in the USA, which is awesome. However, that drives the price point way up uh, compared to a lot of these gloves made overseas. The quality on them is amazing from what I've heard. So, you know, I think I'm going to put the Nakona in uh, the B slot, again, the quality's there. I like the designs now, um, but that price point is just no, not gonna be there uh, compared to these other gloves. Nakona is doing great stuff now. Um, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing what they're gonna do as far as innovation and stuff like that for such a classic brand. And finally, we've gotten to probably my favorite glove if you guys are fans of the channel or uh, have seen my collection. I have uh, the most A2000 comparatively to any other glove in my collection. You know, I have, I have a few different brands. Uh, I have some A2Ks, I have some Heart of the Hides, Pro Preferred, but uh, A2000 makes up the majority of my collection, a little over half. Definitely my favorite. However, I'm not gonna call it goaded because, you know, with Wilson and Rawlings, these brands have been there forever. You're gonna get that consistency, the great leather quality, the, the patterns that we all love. But the thing is, is at this price point, it's not gonna be the best glove that you're ever gonna get. So um, again, you will get the consistency, but also they're making these gloves very cookie cutter at the same, um, so that craftsmanship may not be there uh, with the attention to detail just because they're so mass produced where uh, companies like Mizuno and Nike can kind of uh, focus and put like more time and effort into each glove. So no hate on Wilson or Rawlings, but it's just, they're bigger companies having to produce more gloves. You can't spend as much time and craftsmanship on each glove. So with that being said, um, just because it's a classic glove, we're gonna have to put this at an A um, for A2000. So with that being said, a little step down on our next glove. Unfortunately, I already talked about this one a little bit. We're going to the older style Nakonas. I talked about the new Nakonas and this, this one's an older style here. These gloves, again, more of like a uh, baseball purist vintage style glove with that walnut leather. It's gonna be a little bit wrinkled, less quality, um, definitely not as stiff as those newer gloves, but it's definitely a unique glove. So for some guys out there, they, they definitely like this style, but for me personally, it's just not it for me. I'm definitely more into those modern looking gloves. The innovation and the glove industry really is something I get excited about. So uh, this is going to have to go as a D because it's just not my style of gloves at all. If you guys may feel a different way, let me know. Again, I'm just going off what I feel about these gloves, but you can make your own tier list. This is available for anyone. So whatever you like is, is good, but I'm just giving my opinion on this. And now we have a sprint of Rawlings gloves all in a row here. I picked a few different models and types like that. So we're starting with the base model, which is going to be more of a youth tailor glove in the GG Elite. Now the youth market is really interesting and I think they're underappreciated by glove uh, manufacturers and that there's just not as many colorways as the high quality glove market and I understand that because there is more players buying these high quality gloves even though I will say the GG Elite is very high quality for the price that you pay you know the youth market isn't going to have as big as a, of a selection and the GG Elite is something that compares to like the Wilson A1000 but for real I really like the GG Elite for its price point so even though it can't compete with the gloves that are in say the B tier, I really like this glove for the price point. So maybe not comparing it to the gloves leather wise or quality wise, but the value there is uh, a lot like 44 and you're getting a pretty good glove for the price that you're paying. So uh, this is going into the B slot. Now going in order of uh, increasing quality, we have the Rawlings Heart of the Hide. Again, this glove is just fantastic. Like anyone that asks me what kind of glove they should get, um, Wilson Rawlings, again, are gonna be like the two top brands that you almost all of the time cannot go wrong with. So, uh, Heart of the Hides are loved by pretty much everyone. Nice classic colors. Um, if you're less of a flashy player, I would recommend this maybe over an A2000 just because uh, Wilson tends to have some more flashy colorways. But again, that consistency is gonna be there and everything like that. So A tier all the way for the Heart of the Hide. And once more, even another step up is the Pro Preferred. 
And again, the consistency, the leather quality, everything like that from Rawlings, um, you're, you're gonna have that there. So there's not a whole lot to say about the Pro Preferreds. I have one myself, I love it. It's a very thick, sturdy, high quality glove. Um, so A tier is going to be like that again. And now this glove, now that we're done with the Pro Preferred, we're getting into one that isn't even released yet, and it's the Rawlings Rev 1X. I've done a video because I was lucky enough to get my hands on a prototype. If you haven't seen that video, it has been going off. It's a crazy video because it's a glove that we haven't seen before really released besides with the pros. So I can't give this one maybe the most accurate grading, even though I've had it myself. It's not released to the public. We don't know what types of gloves are coming out yet, what price point or anything like that. And maybe they uh, are gonna make some modifications from the prototype that I've had. So I don't know if I can give this one the most fair rating, um, but from what I know, what I can tell at this point, um, because I feel like it's not as premier or premium of a glove, I'm going to put it in the B rating because that full synthetic backing, it's not full leather, so you're not getting like a pro preferred quality. And I've heard it's going to be priced higher than the pro preferred, so for that, I feel like the value just isn't there as much for me. Um, but I'm looking forward to seeing what they're gonna do with the Rev 1X, but for now it's going to be as a B tier. Um, maybe that will change in the future. Maybe I'll do an updated version of this. Let me know if you guys would like an updated version. I would definitely consider that going back and uh, maybe changing some of these after I've gotten the opportunity opportunity to have more of these gloves. So let me know about that and with that being said, let's get on to the next glove. Next glove is another interesting one, another Rawlings, but this one is discontinued. It's the Rawlings Primo and these are definitely a premium glove or were marketed as such and I believe that they were. They were known for their Italian leather, their craftsmanship, but also they were really heavy. So um, that is one drawback, but you know, that's also a sign of a sturdy, well-made glove. So. Uh, unless you're a catcher or a middle infielder that likes to have a lighter glove, it shouldn't be that big of a deal, or maybe outfielder that likes a, a lighter glove for some speed, but honestly, the Primo's age in very well. I love the Primo Sherry uh, color on there. It's like a good neutral color, but also it's something unique. So with that being said, the craftsmanship on there is impeccable, and uh, I love the Primo Sherry color. So I'm gonna call this one goaded, you know, it's pretty much in the Hall of Fame for a lot of people just because it's nostalgic and everything like that. So uh, Primo is definitely going to be in the goaded tier. And now we've gotten to the glove that I probably have the least experience with, and that's going to be the Under Armour Flawless series. Not only have I never had this glove, I honestly haven't heard a lot about it. I do know that there's a type of like synthetic or stamped leather backing. I'm not sure which one it is. To be fair, the glove looks pretty nice and there's already a flared form on it before you even form the glove yourself, which is interesting because, you know, not a lot of players like it flared, so, you know, I don't know if that would change any of your minds if you're going to buy this glove, but just because I don't know a ton about it, you know, it looks really nice. I've seen some other colorways that look awesome, but I just don't know yet, so I can't really give it that high of a rating. So just to be conservative about it, we're gonna put it in the C class. Um, maybe that might change in the future after I get to uh, try this glove out. Now we have gotten to another Wilson, and it's not an A2000, it's not an A2K, it's an A3000. And I don't know if many of you guys out there have heard of this glove. I've had the chance to have one myself and it's it's something crazy. It was used by Barry Bonds and some players like that. It's discontinued now so you can't get it. And it has like an exoskeleton on there, something that looks like really futuristic for its time and it's discontinued now obviously. It was used uh, back in the 90s, I'm pretty sure, around that era. It is a good glove. It was high quality, the one that I had, but you know, I just don't think the exoskeleton really panned out all the way. For that reason, I think it looks it looks unique. I'll give it to that, but um, I'm gonna have to put this one in the C class. And staying with the uh, unique gloves, this one is maybe a company that not many of you have heard of. It's Shoeless Joe, uh, after the player Shoeless Joe Jackson, I reckon. So. This glove, just like the older Nakonas, is going to have a more classic look. Definitely modeled after older style gloves. The form, again, is really not there. Like the modern gloves have those 
a really just bold shape that give you a nice pocket and I just don't see that with this glove. Not only is the quality not looking like it's there, but the shape and the look all together it's just not my type at all. So uh, again, this is going with the old Nakonas at the, uh, the D tier. Moving along from the shoeless Joe, we have a pretty much opposite company, definitely looking towards innovation. It's a brand new, pretty much brand new company, relatively new in the past few years is Stilo Sports. They actually have an app that drops their gloves that you can buy their gloves on. Um, which is really cool, definitely modeled off the Nike sneakers app where they have random drops of their shoes and everything like that. They also have a custom site you can customize their gloves on. So I'm not a maybe huge fan of all of their colorways. They have some pretty out there colorways as long as some pretty basic colorways. And I think my style maybe land in between of those two. And also their quality maybe isn't there in my opinion in terms of where their price point is at. So for those reasons, I'm gonna put the Stilo in the C tier. And now going back to Wilson, we've talked about the A3000, the A2000. Now we're at the A1000. So this is a glove for maybe a younger player, a player on a budget, not really ready for a super high quality glove. It's going to be the A1000. 1000 it compares to the GG elite from Rawlings however I think because the prices in those are pretty similar I think the GG elite probably gives you a little bit more glove uh, for the price that you pay so for that reason the a1000 um, also they are pretty bland in their colorways again the youth market just is in desperate need of some some pretty fire colorways I feel like they get robbed of that so um, with it being uh, a little bit less, in my opinion, than what you get with the Rawlings GG Elite, we're gonna put this in the C-Class as well. Now we are down to our last Wilson glove. It's the Wilson A2K, much anticipated by everyone. One of my favorite gloves out there on the market, of course. Being a primarily Wilson guy, I love the A2K. This is the one that also designs. He primarily designs the A2K, if you guys did not know that. Again, the patterns, the designs, colorways, the quality, everything like that, it's gonna be what you expect with a high priced glove, with a brand that's been around forever. It's gonna be consistent in whatever you buy, so the HUK is never a terrible option for any player. So it's going to be A-class for sure with the other Wilson and Rawlings high quality gloves. And finally, we made it to the last glove on the list, an Easton Professional Series, a glove that I have not been able to have yet, but I did get to try one on the other day in the store with the Horween leather, and it felt fantastic. I actually love the design on this. It looks very sleek and modern, and the neutral colors on here just really mix well together, so props to Easton for making a pretty good line of gloves. I'm very happy with it. Um, I think there could be some improvements maybe on the uh, structural integrity, the comfort, and things like that, but again, with Easton being sort of new to the glove game, um, and especially now that they're owned by Rawlings, I think some awesome things should be coming from them. So look out for awesome stuff from Easton. And the last glove is going to be in the B tier, adding another one to that tier. It's going to be the largest as you guys can see. But now that we are done with the tier list, I hope you guys enjoyed that. Maybe had some differences in opinion from, from my list, but I would love to see your guys' tier list. So uh, check it out on Tier Maker. I'll leave a link in the description down below so you can make your own list. Once again, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was so much fun to make, really. But now that we're done on here, I'll hop off this and hit you guys with the outro. If I ranked one of your gloves and you feel differently about it, make sure you leave a comment down below. I'd love to hear some feedback from you guys. And also, this was a really fun video, so I would love to hear what you guys think about this, and maybe I'll do some more videos just like this one. Also, the support on this channel has been incredible the past couple weeks, so if you guys aren't already subscribed, I try to post as much as I can with some weekly videos, so make sure you guys subscribe if you aren't already. Also, I post some awesome content on my Instagram, so if you want to check out some of the gloves I have and everything like that, make sure you follow my Instagram at GoGloves or follow the link in the description down below. And with that being said, that is all I have for today's video. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.